So we're going into the Deckerville Community Center and this is where we're going to have a huge sale. Let's go see what we can find. These are kind of cute too. It's fill a bag of six bags. Those are interesting. Aren't they? There's two of them. Here, I'm going to leave this guy in this restroom room. Yeah, I looked to see if there was any, um, no. Oh, look at this. This guy's interesting with his, his candles. He's like a moose or something. Oh my gosh, he's kind of funny. See if we can't get them out of there. I have sold these dishes before. That's at Tampico or whatever. I need to grab some of these. So. Let's see what kind of dishes we have here. It's a nice ball pitcher, but I don't know. I'll clean it today. I'm gonna go through some of these plates to see what we've got. If we can find anything interesting in all these plates that are stacked. Oops. Ammonia and hydro. There you go. That's what you need in here. So, <laughs> hi everyone. So we went to we actually what Deckerville, Michigan, mm -hmm. um, which is like an hour and a half ride for us. But they had a community sale, and Deckerville. Um, my grandparents owned a lot of Deckerville, so I guess I have a little bit of an attachment to the area. So that's kind of why we went out there. My grandmother. Um, owned a huge home and she owned like the pool hall and stuff years and years yeah, ago but um, yeah <laughs> so um, to take a ride to Deckerville is not a big deal I used to visit <clears> there <throat> when I was a child um, a lot so and it's neat to see her house because we used to stay there you know me and all my cousins with her when I was a kid so it's kind of fun um, just to drive by her house um, and just the memories of all that okay. fun time that we had so to set the stage, I we go there in the picture that they show. I'll try and remember to put a picture of it up here. Mm -hmm. It was a box of shiny bright ornaments with jewel bright ornaments in there. And when I walked in, they had the front area was like furniture and stuff like that. And they had the box of ornaments sitting at the counter and they had like two bucks a piece on the ornaments. So I said to the lady, how much for the whole box? Because they were mm -hmm. older, shiny brights, but they were just all loose in a box. And she said, um, well, there's about 50 ornaments in there, like $50. And so then I looked and I said, but where's the jewel brights? There's no jewel brights in here. And she's like, oh, we put those in a back, in the back for the $6 fill a bag. Mm -hmm. I was like, well, I guess I'm going to go see what ornaments you have in the back first before I, before yeah. I go to $50 for a box. And the jewel brights were in yeah. here. Yeah, like five of them. Yeah, so there was two pinks, um, a yellow, no, three pinks, three pinks and two yellows. So I was, oh no, that's a green. A green, a yellow, and three pinks. So I was super happy to get the Jewel Brights because they're easier to ship. And I, I don't know, I just love them. I just think that they're so with the mm -hmm. frosted look on them. But then in my bag, because you could fill these bags, oh, yeah. I put, mm -hmm. <laughs> I got this, which is yeah. most of these tops say shiny bright on this Woolworth, but I love the packaging. 
Oh, no, we'll revise so that. I grab that, yeah, and then one. I grab this one, which most of them in there is shiny bright. I mean, they're nothing spectacular. They're just yeah, gold. Yeah, standard ones. But the blue. boxes on these, I thought, were worth it instead of um, the money spent yeah. on the whole box Thing. of 50. Yeah, so I was happy with that instead. So that was the first thing that I did. And then the place, it was it was actually a really good sale. And mm -hmm. they were very generous with how they did. You know, we had IKEA bags and they just kind of went, oh, well, that's like two $6 mm -hmm. bags. So it was only $12 for our IKEA bags. So in our IKEA bags, we mm -hmm. had, um, I picked up these two kitties. And this one is Lefton, and he's in great shape. And this one is actually a Joseph's original, but I didn't notice yeah. the top of his Just tail. Just the tip, yeah, top is of the tail like, has been repaired. Yeah, been repaired. But he's still super cute, little Siamese. Mm -hmm. I grabbed those. What was in your IKEA bag? Well, he's My IKEA bag? Yeah. Oh, I found a, the uh, Pyrex coffee pot. It had the guts in it. So That's a nice one. Top. It's got the yeah, um, main USA. plastic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's got a nice graphic along the top, yeah, oh too. Yeah. So it's in really great shape. It just needs to be cleaned. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of dusty. It's sitting in there. And I got these two little owls. They're mm -hmm. plastic. These are definitely older um, little owls. Okay. And I found uh, these two monkeys. I'm not sure who makes them. Kelvin or something says on the yeah, bottom? Yeah, it says Kelvin on it. Maybe if anybody can give us a hint on the origin, that would be wonderful. Those are super Kelvin. cute, though, too. It says the same thing on the other side. And no chips or cracks. Nothing's been repaired, so look in good shape. Lots of dishes were there. Mm -hmm. So the only thing dish-wise that I grabbed were... Um, this little mm -hmm. stack of plates, it's kind of all different, but they do all glow. So there's right. these two. See, they glow really well. And then there's these two swirl ones. Mm -hmm. So I grabbed those. And they had one, and I think I might have a Delphite. Um, coffee mug. I'm not really 100% sure, but I might have one of these to put these together. I don't know if I have another saucer, but I think I have another one of the teacups mm -hmm. that are in that. Instead of the it's the blue. So I was happy to get these with that blue azure or whatever they mm -hmm. call it, Delphi color. I'll show the plates. And then, yeah, the only other plates that I picked up I have sold this set before. This is that temp Tempura. Temporama or whatever it is. So I did get two dishes. I have mm -hmm. one serving bowl. So I was going to do two lots. One with a mm -hmm. small dish and platter. And then put this one. I have a larger serving bowl that I'm going to put these kind of together. And make more of a lot for them. Um, I had like. Creamer, sugar, salt, pepper, mm -hmm. and some mugs. They, that has already mm -hmm. all sold a while ago. And you found that little guy just... Uh, yeah, he was just hanging all out. All by himself. A little Fenton. Yeah, a little bud yeah, vase. Yeah, a little bud vase. He's super cute. He does have the Fenton um, is written right there. You can kind of see it. So that was a cute little find. Mm -hmm. And the other piece of Fenton no. was... The bell. This bell. That glows like crazy. And I do have in the same pattern the um, bud vase and a ginger jar. So I'm thinking I might put them together lot as a set mm. and lot it. I bought them for myself because I like, I love daisies. And, but I don't know. I just, I don't mm -hmm. really have them out anywhere. So I might just lot them together mm -hmm. and sell them. I found a little Hello Kitty. She needs to be washed. Yeah, she needs she's to definitely be better washed. Days. She's better days. Hopefully but she's she can an older clean one. up. Yeah, she's an older one from the 90s. On that. Now Scott from the old Curiosity Shop would love this lady. Look at her. Mm -hmm. Very Art Deco. 
Um, so yeah, chrome. Yeah, very chrome. She's in great shape. She just needs to be cleaned up. But I never find ladies like this. I just, I mm -hmm. just think she is super great. I don't think it glows. So no, I don't think so either. But I just oh, love, I, I just love her. She's just so, so sexy. Very sexy. And found a nice cute little jewelry box. It's a uh, New York is an old one, State of Liberty. Yeah, just a little jewelry yeah. casket. Yeah, little jewelry. It's got a little jewelry box, pill box, whatever you want to make it. Oh, a little wooden elephant in there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about the wooden elephant. Yeah, oh, a little damage on the top. I just noticed that. Yeah. Something. You should show that. Oh, yeah. And I, I just saw, I was, this was buried. I was just just looking under some stuff. And it, That's it was pretty much when we were leaving. Yeah. This was the last thing when we, we were grabbed. Leaving. Yeah, this is a Murano. Well, a, I, I want to say that that, you can see it's got the dots on the bottom. Everything mm -hmm. we've looked up, it's very well made. Yes, yeah, very heavy. And it's got those dots on the bottom, which then reflect, like, so it gives it that, like, 3D effect. It's, like, super cool. I don't like to throw the name Murano around, but the other ones that we have looked at. Yeah, that's what it's um, That's what they're so. all stating. And so we're going to go with that. And then we're going to research it a little bit more. Because I, you know, everybody, oh, it's Murano. Yeah, right. One thing I was researching, like, thermoses. You can find old thermoses, Aladdin ones. Like, this is uh, Emergency 151, back in the old 70s TV program. If you can find them in good shape, usually for replacements or whatnot. I mean, usually $20, $30, easy. But I have to research it. <clears throat> And I did grab this piece of, uh, I'm just going to call it art glass. Although, I don't know. There's enough dirt down there on the inside that it's pretty old. It's been there a while. Yeah. But it is, I just love the color on it. It's definitely hand blown. It's got a crazy pontail on the mm. bottom of it. I don't know. Is it a piece of chinaware? I have no idea. I just thought it was kind of in cool shape. Um, art glass. It's definitely older. But who made it? I have no idea. Is it just a piece of art class? If you guys know, comment below. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you think. Let us know. Is it China art class? Is it just art class? What are your comments, thoughts on this beautiful mm -hmm. piece? And then Lynn picked this up. She just thought it was neat. I just thought it was funny. Um, I don't know why. Yeah, I don't think I it's really it worth funny. anything. But I mean, for a replacement, if anybody needs it, I mean, it's in really good shape. <laughs> and it's older. I don't know. Maybe Ace can play with it. It was yeah, just so funny to me. Let's just uh. pull along our ammonia. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, and I did get those books over there. Yeah. I have this that I put out for this um, Easter, so then it, it would match. So now I have two of them. I just thought it was super cute. These are made in USA. Just a little canister, so. I have a matching one, and I did find one little cupcake holder, clown alert, sorry, but he, um, little cupcake pick that I grabbed. We grabbed a couple books. Um, Scott grabbed a couple Texas Instrument mm -hmm. books. A manual for a... I have... Because we have a couple of these. I figured we just throw them Yeah, them. we have them yeah. listed, so we are going to just lock mm -hmm. those together T38 with... for dummies. I believe I have a TI... 83. Yeah. It might be a plus. I don't remember if it's plus. So I was going to lock those yeah. together with the calculator I have listed. Yeah. And then I grabbed, um, the books that I grabbed were, I Know What You Did Last Summer. Definitely an cover. older one. Um, Adventures in Good Cooking with the Art of Carving in the Home. Famous Recipes. And it's a Duncan Hines book. I thought that was super interesting that it was a Duncan Hines book. Mm -hmm. um, definitely older. I don't know what the, um, what is the date on this guy? Be in the back, no. So, 
So Copyright. 46 is the last one. This started in 1939, but this is the one, two, three, five, like eighth edition, 1946. Six. So 1946, thought that was kind of fun. What, what year was, I know what you did last summer. I don't know. Didn't they make a movie on Sarah this? Clady had this. I think they do have a movie on this. Um, Copyright. Um, where was it? I thought I seen it too. I don't see it. Mm -hmm. 73. 73. 1973 on that one. And Good Cooks Tell and the Pennsylvania Dutch Cookbook. I was just going to get some of these together and lock them together. Um, cause these are always fun. These little old mm -hmm. little books. I don't know if this one's got a copyright in it. Yeah. We'll put it up there. Oh, 1979. Mm -hmm. Started in 1961. Revise. Good cooks tell. It's, it's political. And I didn't realize it was political, but I guess after you look at the back, Mm -hmm. It is, there's an elephant on it, and I did not Good realize it was a political little book. Political cookbook? It's a, yes, it's from the Republi Republican Women Club, 17th <laughs> Detroit, Michigan. I had no idea that it was a political little Good Cooks Tell, a collection of favorite recipes. So that was interesting. I had no idea. Mm -hmm. But I think that, was that it? I believe so. We did get, um... A couple personal things that yeah they're not yeah oh not i did much. get a cake plate um christmas it looks like has like the spode christmas tree mm -hmm. on it but flipped it over it was made in japan but it you know it's got that you know the famous spode christmas tree i'll kind of put a picture of it up here um so i did grab that but all in all it was a really good sale yeah. i think we got some really good items especially with like this girl and um, when we find out more on this piece of beautiful glass, and maybe even, um, you know, we got the, the little glass, Fenton yeah. vase. Mm -hmm. I mean, these are all the, bell, the bells, custard glass. So, we, I mean, we did good. Coffee I thought we yeah. did pretty good. Yeah. The ornaments? Yeah, we'll definitely, yeah, with definitely the ornaments. get our money back plus. Yeah. So, what, well, we spent 40? Well, no, 36. Yeah, 36 and change. Yeah. 36 oh. and then we left. Yep. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, this is Lynn and Scott from Halo Vintage. Halo Vintage. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, you guys. Thank you so much for helping our channel grow. We really do appreciate it. And stay retro, my friends. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.